What's it like sailing on one of the biggest suites on any Royal Caribbean cruise ship? And is it worth paying five figures for some of these cabins? Today, we're going to talk about my experience in one of the biggest suites on Wonder of the Seas. Here we go. everyone, it's Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com, and there are all sorts of cabins you can book on a cruise. Inside rooms, balcony rooms, ocean view, and of course, suites. And within the suite category, which of course is the most expensive category of cruise ship cabins out there, there is an upper echelon of cabins that are reserved for people who are willing to spend the most, probably, for those type of cabins while on a cruise. These cabins are referred to as Star Class. It's part of Royal Caribbean's Royal Suite Class, and it's available only on the Oasis and Quantum Class ships. The idea is simple. Offer the most luxurious accommodations with the highest level of service that Royal Caribbean has ever done. Prior to the Star Class cabins, Royal Caribbean always had suites on their ships, but the services offered weren't quite in line with what you might experience if you stayed in one of the opulent suites in a land resort. And Royal Caribbean really wanted to offer something more for those who were willing to pay for it. So they came up with star class and star class cabins are not only large cabins certainly when you book one of these cabins you're getting a lot of space extra bedrooms lots of living space to enjoy but you're also going to be getting some of the best benefits on board a royal caribbean ship because basically everything or almost everything is included with your cruise fare and you get the services of a royal genie so going on Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas, I had the opportunity to stay in one of these suites. And before you think that I just laid out a ton of money and just made it rain for Royal Caribbean anyway, the truth was I kind of got lucky with this particular cabin. Usually when I book a cabin, I come to it from an opportunist standpoint. What I mean by this is I look for different options that are there. And if there's a great deal to be had, I will jump on it. For this particular sailing, we actually booked this two-bedroom aqua theater suite on then Harmony of the Seas. It was actually a really good deal because it ended up being the week before Christmas. And for whatever reason, we lucked out because my kid's school calendar worked out to be exactly off that week that was there. So it's not technically a Christmas sailing because it came back the day before Christmas and we were able to get for a good break because of course it was on Harmony of the Seas. And one of the nuances of cruise ship pricing is as newer ships come out like Symphony and Odyssey and Wonder of the Seas, the pricing for older ships tends to go down over time. And so I booked it on Harmony of the Seas and thought, what a great deal. Well, as it turned out, Royal Caribbean decided to swap out ships. So they took Wonder of the Seas and put it in place for Harmony of the Seas and Wonder assumed all the itineraries and bookings for Harmony. So I ended up paying a pretty good rate for a suite for a ship that ended up being a brand new cruise ship. So there is a little bit of luck when it comes to booking these rooms. And in the end, the cabin cost me about $13,000 for the six-night Western Caribbean cruise. Now, that is a lot of money. There's no doubt I could have taken that $13,000 and turned that into, I don't know, three or four cruises in lower cabins. But there were a couple of reasons why I thought this was worthwhile in the sense of it being a splurge, of course. I'm not here to tell you that a sweet cabin is ever a true return on investment. Rather, I looked at it as a really good price for what it was. Number one, we figured out that it was actually going to go over my oldest daughter's birthday. And so always looking for an excuse to celebrate anything on a cruise ship. That's kind of an added bonus to make it worthwhile. Number two, being in a star class cabin means that a lot is included. When you book a star class room, there's a lot that's included with your cruise fare. You're going to get complimentary Zoom Wi-Fi for everybody in the room. Complimentary specialty restaurants, complimentary deluxe drink package, access to the suite lounge, complimentary laundry services, gratuities are included as well, and a number of other ancillary benefits that have no direct value to them, but it really does add to the value of the cruise. So certainly having all those things included helped a lot. And knowing that in the grand scheme of star class, this was a really good price for the cabin. Now being an aqua theater suite means, yes, the cabin is located at the back of the ship and it's one of the most palatial cabins on the cruise ship. My suite was located on deck nine near the boardwalk neighborhood. The boardwalk neighborhood is an outdoor area that has dining and entertainment. It's one of the signature areas of any Oasis class cruise ship. And the cabin not only has views of the boardwalk, it has views of the aqua theater and the ocean around you. And being on the end of the ship, it allows you to have almost a 270 degree view from where your cabin is, especially on the balcony, people see all around you. Now, one downside to this location is we're at the end of the deck, which means it is a pretty far walk to the elevators, but the tons of living space really makes up for it. When you go to the cabin, of course, you open the door via your C-Pass card and walk into a living room at first. 
This suite has two bedrooms. We'll start with the master bedroom. The master bedroom has a bed, desk, television, and an incredible amount of closet space. Next to each bed are built-in outlets, including USB outlets. The plush bed is surrounded by a wood structure with two large closets on the left side of the bed. The two full-size closets have hangers provided for you, and I really found the amount of closet space to be more than we could ever need it. Even if this were like a seven-night or even longer cruise, there was an insane amount of closet space. Like any cabin on a Royal Caribbean cruise ship, there's a safe for personal documents or cash or any other valuables in there. And then the master bathroom has a shower and tub with adjustable shower head. All suites have a bathtub in addition to a shower, even junior suites for that matter. The shower head can be detached as well as moved and up and down for optimal positioning. And there's also a long yet narrow countertop with sink. And again, plenty of space to put all your stuff there in the bathroom. The other bedroom in the cabin can sleep up to four people with two Pullman beds that can be open from the walls. The second bedroom has its own door, which makes for better privacy for anyone sleeping here. In fact, the fact that there were two separate bedrooms really attracted us to this cabin because having my kids in this room meant that we were able to get them separation from us. We weren't sharing the same sleeping accommodations, and that's huge, especially my kids like sleeping in. They like also going to bed a little earlier than we do so they can close the door and we don't have to worry about tiptoeing around them. Also in the cabin for the kids, they had their own television along with desk and mirror. Now there's another bathroom in the cabin that is across from the second bathroom. So think of it as not only a bathroom for the folks who are staying in that second bedroom, but also anybody who's visiting your room, this would be a second bathroom that could be utilized and that way people don't have to go in your master bathroom. Each shower has upgraded toiletries, including shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Hand soap is included as well. And essentially, it's very similar to a standard bathroom in one of the non-suite cabins. The living room curtains and air conditioning are controlled by a touch panel, which you can use to open or close the curtains. And that's going to lead us right into the living room, by the way, because the living room has a large couch, table with chairs, and comfortable chair to sit in as well. This is an amazing space with a ton of great views all around you, especially when the curtains are open. The table is the perfect spot for snacks or meals to be delivered by room service. And there's also a large television in the living room as well. You're also going to find an in-room coffee maker that can make a quick cup of coffee anytime you want. But really, when we're talking about the Aqua Theater Suite, the Piesa Resistance is definitely the balcony. There are actually two balcony doors, one in the living room and one in the master bedroom. All Aqua Theater Suites are on the back of the ship with a giant wraparound balcony that extends to both sides of the cabin. As the name implies, you can get perfect views of the Aqua Theater during any of the evening performances. There's also a very large table for gatherings on the balcony, which means that you can have meals out here, you can have a party out here, or just simply sit around and enjoy the space. Royal Caribbean also included lots of chairs and loungers to use while on the balcony. I was actually impressed by just how much seating there was on the balcony area, which really made a big difference. Something else that's different about Wonder of the Seas Aqua Theater is there weren't bulkheads here like there were on Harmony of the Seas, some of the older Royal Caribbean cruise ships, which meant that I didn't hit my head nearly as often as they did on those ships. But arguably, the best benefit of staying in an Aqua Theater suite is the Royal Genie, which provides VIP privileges to everybody staying in the cabin. Now, trying to answer what does the Royal Genie do is kind of complicated because there isn't a great answer as to what they do. The Genie services are very specific to you and your wishes. Leading up to the cruise, you'll actually get an email from the Genie about a month beforehand with a questionnaire asking you kind of personal questions about how you like to travel, your favorite things, dislikes, and basically they want to get to know you better. The idea behind the Royal Genie is that it is a personalized experience. Think of it like your own personal guest services mixed with a butler, mixed with a magic maker. Now, at the very heart of Royal Genie, they're going to help you with some basics on the cruise. They can make all your dining reservations and get you the best seats in the house for any of the shows. But what really makes them incredible are all the surprises in between. During the course of your cruise, you're able to communicate with your Royal Genie via the WhatsApp application on your phone. Of course, you have Wi-Fi included with your cruise fare, so there's no problem there. And basically, you can communicate with the Genie anytime, day or night, for any requests, big or large. In fact, the Genie can do a lot of different things depending on what you're requesting. Now, certainly the dining and show reservations, everybody wants that. But beyond that, they can do other things. You can have every morning your Starbucks coffee ordered delivered to your room. Not just coffee, but we're talking the actual Starbucks drinks. They will have it ready for you at the exact time that you like it to have delivered. Heck, multiple times during the cruise, I was in a bar or a venue on board and thought to myself, man, I would really love one of those awesome peanut butter and jelly old fashions from the Mason jar bar. And I actually thought about what the heck, let me message my genie. And sure enough, 
he would run upstairs, prepare one, and bring it to anywhere I was on the ship. On one day, we actually had a party on the balcony in which a number of friends who were joining me on there for this particular sailing, it was a Royal Caribbean blog group cruise, we actually had a bartender and server out on the balcony to serve us drinks for an hour because that was one of the options available to us for staying in a suite. But a lot of this is really personalized into what you're requesting about it. In short, the genie is what you make of it, meaning the more you request, the more you talk with your genie, the more you can get out of it. If you just simply go on your cruise and treat it like any other sailing, you're probably not going to get a ton out of it, but it really does reward people who are very vocal with their requests. And this is kind of weird because I think a lot of people, myself included, don't want to be needy. We want to be self-reliant. And certainly we advocate here on Royal Caribbean blog, you know, researching and knowing what to do and being able to plan ahead. But with the Royal Genie, it's kind of like taking a day off, if you will, in the sense that all those pre-planning choices that you have to make are done for you. It's really incredible because we've done videos like, you know, what you should do on embarkation day when you go on a cruise. Very popular, very helpful information. But when you have a Royal Genie, you can pretty much skip all that stuff. I mean, there's maybe one or two things you need to do, like the mustard drill, but everything else is done for you. Your Genie will meet you and escort you onto the ship. It's just incredible and makes it basically like pushing the easy button for your cruise life. Now, I am certain there will be plenty of people in the comments who will say, you know, this is absurd. It's way too much money. That money can be better spent in a variety of manners, whether we're talking about another cruise, awesome shore excursions, or who knows what, maybe a new TV for your house, right? I get that. This is a splurge. It is no different, by the way, than booking first class on an airplane or booking a suite at a fancy hotel, right? At the end of the day, this is a way of treating yourself, not necessarily trying to get the best value out of every dollar spent. And like I said, I don't usually book suites when we go on roller Caribbean cruises. We kind of go all around. But in this situation, I thought it was an excellent value relative to what the pricing for star class can go for. Usually when you talk about star class cabins, you're definitely talking about five figures, certainly north of $10,000 for a family. But we had four people in this cabin and it was kind of during a holiday cruise, not quite a holiday cruise. And on top of all of that, we ended up lucking out and actually having this cabin on wonder of the seas. Admittedly, that's pure dumb luck and there's no way to have planned that ahead of time. But in the grand scheme of star class cabins, I feel like this is a pretty good price because usually for a family of four, especially closer to the holidays, you're going to end up paying a lot more for that. As to whether or not it's worthwhile, ultimately any cabin that you book, it's really your call and what you're comfortable with. One person's expensive is another person's, oh, that's not really that much money, right? We all have different sense of how much money we can afford. And we all have different budgets and approaches to how we take vacation planning. In my situation, I looked at it as an opportunity to celebrate my daughter's birthday. It was going to be kind of a celebration for the family. And as somebody who's often away from my family during cruises and taking time away for these trips, I thought it would make sense to spend a little bit more on this cruise. So that way my wife and kids could enjoy it more, especially as we're going on a cruise together. While not cheap, I did feel overall the suite delivered on it being a luxurious space for my family with an expansive amount of living space that makes it a great option for families looking to splurge and just treat themselves. And ultimately, I found that that's what I got with this two-bedroom aqua theater suite. Let me know in the comments below, have you ever stayed in a room like this? Have you booked an aqua theater suite, a loft suite, or one of the other really impressive cabins on Royal Caribbean? I'd love to hear your thoughts on the experience and what you thought of the star class experience while you're down there hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications that way youtube lets you know we have a brand new video to share this has been matt from royalcaribbeanblog.com and we'll talk again real soon